The state of Minnesota has distributed more than 4 million doses of the COVID-19 vaccine. Now there's a push to vaccinate younger Minnesotans because of concerns they're spreading the virus. Right now, only one vaccine is approved for 16 and 17 year olds. The Minnesota Department of Health reports a spike in cases and hospitalizations among younger people. Kate Raddich shows us the effort to get eligible teens vaccinated. The Minnesota Department of Health says more than 36,000 16 and 17 year olds have gotten at least one dose of the COVID 19 vaccine. They're the only age group of children that currently have an approved vaccine. 16 and 17, we, we have seen um, greater case growth in those younger populations. So we're, we're working with schools looking to get 16 and 17 year olds vaccinated. At a mobile vaccination site in Richfield, Governor Tim Walls and Commissioner Jan Malcolm encouraged every Minnesotan, including eligible teenagers, to get the shot. But the fact of the matter is, every person who gets a shot reduces the chance of that happening, reduces the chance of community spread, and gets us closer to putting this thing away for good. Most children who get COVID will have mild to moderate symptoms, but some are severe and in rare cases may die. Infectious disease experts have said that ending the pandemic will likely require the vaccination of children to prevent the virus from further mutating into new variants. The Mall of America community vaccination site will be prioritizing 16 and 17 year olds starting today through May 1st. These types of clinics will also prioritize the teens' families. Commissioner Jan Malcolm says the goal is to educate parents about the data and help separate fact from any fiction. The distinction between hesitancy and, and thoughtfulness or the need to make an informed decision. We want to meet people where they are. We want to give them the information to make good decisions. Kate Raditz, WCCO 4 News. Right now, Pfizer is the only approved vaccine for people under 18. Experts say a vaccine for 12 to 15-year-olds could soon be approved.